Hi guys, welcome back to Gas Donkey. And what <coughs> we're gonna try and make today in my humble workshop is an armrest for the Audi TT. So if I press this lever here, sorry, wrong way. Press it this way. There's my Audi TT. And we're gonna try and make an armrest for that if we can. We're gonna go in then to Newbridge Upholstery and get it upholstered. Before that, my best friend Liam is gonna cut two cup holders in it for me. This is the material I'm using kind of plywood and um, I've never made an armrest before I am handy doing stuff with timber and metal but I've never made an armrest before so I'm going to face the TT and just see what we have to play with so if I turn it this way you'll be able to see me rooting at it going to sit this into position and see what do I have to say about it? They're actually perfect in size. I just have to have a good width. So I'll be back to you in a second. So it's coming in at six inches, six and a half inches width at the front where your handbrake is, and it's coming back in at six. So there's a slight V in the timber. So what I'm gonna do is I want a bit of support on this. So I'm gonna use my timber for support. And I want to see what I want to do. What width is this? Do so. I come in six first. Cut two of these first. So six. So I should get my. So you see where I am. I think I cut it here instead of, instead of setting up the saw and it's going to cut it with a hand saw. Let's go cut it with a hand saw. And I know I have a hand saw here somewhere as yet. the front I'm going to position that about there and then the other one was six wasn't it because this timber is going to be support because I want to be able to lean on this or lean on it with my elbow and I want something strong to hold a cup of tea or coffee if we're going off somewhere so this one was six and this one now will be six and a half which is there. Right. Let's cut this one now. I will cut this with my saw, my proper saw, with just these, I'm using this.
really sharp edges on them. Oshal. One more cut to do with these because I want my sit I want my timbers to sit in flush. So it still has to be six and a half. So I'm gonna mark where my timbers are going. This one at the bottom. Mark where my timbers are going. Oh, the other one's going to sit there. With the, and the cup holders are going to go in the middle of that where I've left room. And that, lads, I'm going to mark now is. this out this out that has to go along there now if my measurements are right six and a half Seven, yeah. Perfect. So, I have a few bits to do with this. And I'm back in a second. Right, we're back. So what I've done was I brought my piece where I'll be resting my arm into my other workshop and I cut it. First, I decided to go six and a half here and seven, just for a bit of width, because I can afford it. Because when I pull my handbrake, it'll be pulling up under this. So, I have my pieces, I have all of this marked, so what I'm going to do now is put everything into position. I have an off cut that I'm going to use to make sure all of this is in line. So this is perfect. Perfect. Perfect, should be another off cut there. Always check, keep on checking it. And if you're at home, you go, God, I can't make one of these. That's my first time. So don't be afraid to try stuff with your car. Because it's fun. It's to get your timber absolutely perfect. Your support timber has to be perfect because when you screw it in, you want your you don't want anything overlapping at all. And I definitely don't. So I check a load of times to make sure everything is okay, and I'm happy with that. So what I will do now is I shall put a pilot hole. I'm gonna mark that first. Boom, boom. You'll know where that's meant to be. It's meant to be in that box, so I'll just drill the one hole in the middle. One hole in the middle here. Why you draw why you drill the holes in the middle is 
it won't crack when you're drilling through because it's a small space of timber and you don't want it cracking. So what I'll do now is I will put what I call a tack through into it just to make sure that's okay. This is it so far. Remember, this is gonna be covered in leather and my best friend who doesn't know it yet is gonna help me drill um, cup holders because I don't have the piece to go on my drill. I have it, I can't find it. So let's check this again before we do any more screwing into it. That's sitting perfect. side is perfect, perfectly in line. Make sure, yeah, this is I'm just going to take a shave off this because this side is perfect. Just a shade off this corner. The back one's lovely, the front one isn't. So, where's my saw? Here it is. And that's why you do temporary things. I'm just gonna skin this down to there. So I'll be back to you in five minutes. I have that tightened down now and I have it brought into my shape. So I'm gonna put a few pile of holes in there. I'm gonna put Five screws holding it in. Now this is soft timber, so you don't have to bury the screws home. Five will hold this, because when all this is covered, I won't get a chance to gain it again. So I'm gonna put five when I'm at it. Always check your screws to make sure that I'm not going to, as I said, over tighten these. But I am going to put five in it. No need to over tighten these. That's what we have so far. They're nice and tight. They're not gonna go anywhere. So what I'm gonna do now is the delta bit. I'm gonna sit my sides on it. Make sure they're nice and flush. And I will be drilling this for my sides. 100% drill this for my sides.
change my head. Get back on my bit. And I think that screws I'll go, this will be don't go long enough, narrow but long enough. Set it up nice and flush. And put in the center one first. Again, not going too tight. All right, Abby, who's playing in the background. No need to go too tight with screws at all. Now, I'm not going to put the rest in. I'm going to get my other side up. So I'll do the same again. Make sure this is flush. None of these marks are going to be seen. Battery's going dead, so I'll ring it back in a second. Back in business. The old baby went dead. So what we're doing now is we're putting in the rest of the screws. Again, no need to drive these home too tight. This, my friends, is my armrest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole here for a mug of coffee. So I have taken the armrest and put it into my car temporary and I'm absolutely fucking <laughs> drilled. It worked perfect. Now remember, before you look at this, I have to cover it in red leather and we have to put a cup holder in it. But just look at that. Oh yeah, can you see it? Arms resting, I'm driving. Let me see if I can put it in this. Might be easier for you, hang on now. Oh yeah, I can. Let's go again. So there's my handbrake, up at my handbrake. And there's my armrest, and I'm driving away. 
Yeah, love it. It just shows you, I'm a barber. Now I am handy with timber, because I do a lot of carpentry, but it's something you can do at home. Now I'm wrestling with my armrest, really wanted one. I'm gonna get this covered in red leather. We'll put our cup holders in it myself and Liam, because he has the drill bit. I have one there, but I can't find it, so I'll go out to Liam, we'll get that done. We'll cover it in red leather and show you what the finished product is like. From Gas Donkey, please subscribe. We'll talk again. Good luck.